Hi, here's our final example from the 2017 AMC. A difficult problem to solve without modular arithmetic methods. So let's see what we have. Last year, Isabella took seven math tests and received seven different scores, each an integer from 91 to 100. After each test, she noticed that the average of her test scores was an integer. Her score in the seventh test was 95. What was her score in the sixth test? Okay, this looks pretty difficult. Now I key in on the condition that the average of her test scores was an integer, because what that tells me is that the sum of the first five scores is a multiple of five, the sum of the first six scores is a multiple of six, and the sum of all seven scores is a multiple of seven. And that's the kind of condition that I can use modular arithmetic to attack. So let's take a look at all the available test scores. Probably helpful to just write them down. And it's probably helpful to know a lower and an upper bound for the total of all seven test scores. So the seven test scores could come from the lowest seven. And if we sum that up, we get a total of 658. And if the seven scores come from the seven highest available, sum those up, you get a total of 679. So n, the total of all seven scores, has to be somewhere in this range. And that's a pretty good first step. Now we know that the sum of all te seven test scores has to be a multiple of seven. So we know then that n is equal to zero in mod seven. So now we can look through this range and see which of these numbers satisfy the condition of being equal to zero in mod seven. And we go down this list, we find out there's only three numbers that satisfy this. It's 658, 665, and 672. So that's a big step. Now let's take one step back now and look at what the sum of the first six test scores are in mod six. Now the sum of the first six test scores is n minus the score of the seventh test. So we know then that n minus 95 has to equal zero in mod six. And from that we know that n is equal to 95, again in mod six. Reducing 95 in mod six, divide 95 by six, take the remainder. n is equal to five, again in mod six. <clears throat> So let's look at these three possible values of n and see which of them satisfy the condition that n is equal to five in mod six. So in mod six, we find that 658 is equal to four, 665 is equal to five, 672 is equal to zero. So that's a big help now because now we see that there's only one value of n that satisfies both of these requirements. So we essentially know what the value of n is. It's 665. So now let's take one step back again and try to analyze what the sum of the first five scores are in mod five. So let's see, what is the score, or what is the sum of this first five scores? It's n minus the seventh score minus the sixth score, we'll call that T6. And we know that this is equal to zero in mod five, again, because the average of our test scores is always an integer. So in mod five, 95 is just equal to zero, so that cancels out. So we then find that N is equal to T6 in mod five. But we know that N is equal to 665, and 665 is just equal to zero in mod five. So then we know that T6 is equal to zero in mod five. So in mod five, the only available choices for test scores that are equal to mod or equal to zero in mod five is 95 and 100. Now 95 was already taken because that was the score of the seventh test. So the only available choice that's left is for T6 to equal 100. And that's our final answer for choice E. Anyway, a tough problem to work out, but with modular arithmetic, you can work your way through it. Hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.